you like crockpot recipes? Well, today I am making lemon chicken. But first we're gonna sear our chicken on the stove because that brings out some extra flavor that we're gonna be adding to this dish. And I just love to put flavor in things, right? And cooking with a crock pot, you know, you know how the flavors develop because it slow cooks in there and it's juicy and just tender and full of flavor, guys. And we're gonna serve this over a bed of rice. And the sauce that's at the end, we're gonna thicken it up and make a nice gravy and it's delicious. So I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after this. So we're gonna use six boneless, skinless chicken thighs for our recipe. Now I like to use thighs because they never dry out. They always stay nice and moist and juicy and tender. All right, so we're gonna season those up first, both sides of them, with some ancho chili powder, lots of garlic powder, a little bit of Italian seasoning, which by the way, I have a recipe for if you want to make your own, or you can use what you have. And that will be, I'll leave a link for you down below in the description of this video, as well as all the ingredients. So check it out down there. And then we'll finish it up with a little bit of salt and pepper. Then pat the spices in so they stick. All right, so to sear our chicken, I've got my cast iron pan. I like to use cast iron because it, it just does the best job with searing meat, I think. Um, so that's what I like to use. And I've got this on medium high. I want to get it up to temperature. And uh, I'm going to add some clarified butter. Now I like to use clarified butter because it can handle higher temperatures than say regular butter, which will burn. And this adds some really nice flavor to your dish. And I have a video on how to make clarified butter. It's really simple. It's not very hard to do at all. So you can check that out in the description of the video. All right, once that gets hot, we'll start adding our chicken. And we're just searing this. We're not trying to cook it, obviously, all the way because we're gonna be doing that in the crock pot. We just wanna get a nice uh, sear on the chicken. So it's only gonna cook for, you know, just maybe two or three minutes max on each side. All right, second side is browned up. I'm gonna pull this off. Now, I'm gonna add a little bit more clarified butter to my pan here. And I'm gonna add my onions to this pan. It's gonna pick up all these beautiful flavors on the bottom of the pan. And we're just gonna saute these for about five minutes. You want to scrape the bottom of the pan and get all those bits up as best you can right now. All right, so here's been five minutes of sauteing these onions. Don't they look wonderful? Look at that nice color picking up all those flavors from the chicken. Okay, so now we're ready to add a few more ingredients. So at this point, I'm going to add my chicken broth. I'm gonna add the zest of my lemon. I use an organic lemon here because, uh, you know, you don't wanna put all those pesticides in your dish, right? So once you zest the lemon, go ahead and juice the whole thing right into the sauce. Now I like to add a little more garlic powder to this. I'm just gonna sprinkle some in. There's just no set amount. Just put in what you, you know, you think you'd like. A little bit more of the ancho powder, but not too much of that, and a little more of the Italian seasoning. Now I'm going to add some maple syrup to this, and this is going to balance out the uh, acidity from the lemon, and it's not going to make it super sweet, that's not what I'm looking for here, but just to really kind of just take the bitterness out. So I'm going to go with two tablespoons, and you can always adjust this. If you want more, you can add more. So we'll just give this a stir, and then all of this is going to be just poured right into my crock pot. Now, I invite you to taste it, see how it, see how it is, see if you need to adjust those seasonings a little bit. I might go with just a little more salt. So now we're just gonna transfer this to all to the crock pot. Okay, so now we're just gonna place our chicken into the crock pot. And we're gonna pour all the juice that's on the plate in there as well. We don't wanna leave anything out. And 
you're going to carefully pour your sauce right on top. I'm going to place a few pieces of fresh lemon in there. And this goes right into our crock pot. And we're going to cook that on high for about three hours. All right, so our chicken has been cooking on high for three hours, so it's time to uh, take it out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the chicken out and put it on a plate. And then I'm going to um, add my slurry of arrowroot, which is a thickener, kind of like flour or cornstarch, but I prefer this better because uh, it's a little more healthy. It doesn't have, uh, cornstarch typically has GMOs in it because it's made out of corn. And so this um, doesn't. And so the only difference in using it is that you need to be careful about not overcooking it, like continuing to boil it will make it lose its thickening property. So that's why we're putting it in right at the end. This chicken is falling apart, by the way. It's very tender. All right, so I'm gonna mix my slurry together with the water, equal, equal parts. So I've got like a tablespoon of uh, arrowroot to, you know, like a tablespoon of water, maybe a little more. So now we're gonna pour in the little slurry as we stir it in, and just enough so you get it the thickness that you like. And you may not use it all, or you might, it just depends. And I'm gonna go with all of it. And if you want it thicker than that, you can add even a little more. I'm gonna toss in a little bit of fresh parsley, and then I'll place the chicken back in and just serve it right out of the crock pot and keep it nice and warm. All right, our chicken is done and didn't really cook that long. It, it cooks up pretty quick. So let me serve some up here. I got my rice already made and uh, I'm gonna give this a little taste. This looks so yummy, guys. We got that nice, oh, that, that chicken is just falling apart. Get some of that sauce on there, beautiful. So flavorful. That chicken is so tender. I, I really recommend using thighs. It's just it melts in your mouth. I mean, it's really, really tender, really delicious. I can taste the lemon and the maple syrup. It does a good job of just balancing out the flavor. You can barely tell that it's there. Now you can always change that if you want. If you want more sweetness, you certainly can add it. Or if you want more lemon, you can, you can go that way too. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. It was uh, easy to make. I think you guys are going to love it. If you enjoyed it or you think somebody, you know, you know somebody who might enjoy this recipe, please share it with them. That really helps me out. And uh, if you want to subscribe to my channel, by golly, click that link right up there that says subscribe and also click the bell that's next to it because that's going to notify you when my new videos come out every week. Okay. And I don't want you to miss any. So thanks again for watching everybody. We'll see you next time.